Hello, everybody. How have you all been? I have missed you so, so much. I know I was gone for a long, long time. Let's see what Pokemon's got up their sleeves this time for probably in the next few months or maybe beyond. Who knows? Recording. Hello, everyone. Oh, I love the little Detective Pikachu in the corner. Oh, that's super sweet. Oh, and then on the other side, we got Mew and a Mewtwo, alluding to the two and the neon purple M's that we saw in the little teaser. Okay, World Championships. Very nice. I never played the TCG myself. I mainly just collected the pretty cards, so I commend anyone who can actually play the game well and... Like, actually know what they're doing at the same time. Because I never could as a little kid. Hi, I'm Andy Ghost from the Pokemon Company International. We're thrilled to bring the Pokemon world together for the premiere of our newest short animated series, Pokemon Path to the Peak, at the Pacific Coast Ooh. on August 11th, alongside the Pokemon World Championship. Set in the compelling world of competitive Pokemon trading card game play, it's the story of our hero Ava who discovers her natural talent alongside her partner Pokemon, Oddish. With the support of family, community, and newfound friends, she sets her goal to rise to the very top. To be the very best, like no one ever was. Try new things, make new friends, and eventually, you'll find your place. Challenge accepted! Welcome to the Pokemon Club! You all play together? That's awesome! I know, right? So the new girl can play. But how would you do in a real competition with championship points on the line? Oof. Okay. Alright, that looks really fun. And I like the art style. For Pokemon Path to the Peak. Episode 1 will also be available globally on YouTube August 11th. Nice. We'll wait for you and all your friends and family to join us on the journey. Oh, that'll be sweet. Next up, we have the latest on the return of that tough-talking Pikachu. Yes, let's go Detective Pikachu! I do wish that KG Tang was voicing Pikachu for this game as well as he did in the 3DS game, but... I mean, Lord Detective Pikachu is always fun, so I'll take what I can get. There he is with his coffee. Detective Pikachu returns. For some reason, Tim can understand what I'm saying, even though he's human. And this guy right here is Harry. He's Tim's dad, if you can believe it. Then we got Tim's mom, Irene. And his little sister, Sophia. There's oh, wow, so they pick up the whole family dynamic from the, in the game. Speaking of Rick, whenever an incident occurs, Tim talks to the people, I talk to the Pokemon, and we work together using our case notebook to deduce what happened. Like We're super sleuths do. But even Fro's gotta take it easy every so often. <laughs> the mustache. There you go. It's available on pre-order. If you interested, best place it. And uncover for yourself the truth behind the strange cases these two must tackle. Next, we have a number of announcements and updates to share with you. All right, hit us with them. Pokemon Horizons. Yes, yeah, Pokemon Horizons the series. Okay, fantastic. I was hoping we'd get some news about this. The sequel to Ash's Journey. Pico, a girl with a mysterious prophecy. Roy, a boy with a mysterious Pokeball. Looks like a luxury bowl to me. Coming? Okay, so we don't have a release date. It's just coming soon. 
Okay. Tarapagos! De Toidal. Ooh, next weekend for New York. Nice. I didn't take part in the first Pokemon Go Fest, and I don't know if I'll have... Oh, dancing! Oh, Mega Dancing! I love that. Mega Rayquaza. Oh, I love the Mega Era of Evolution. That was such a good one. In September, Pokemon first discovered in the Paldea region will be appearing in Pokemon Go. Okay. For adventure and head out in search of Pokemon from every region, from Kanto to Paldea. Pokemon Gonna Pokemon have to update our games again. Pokemon World Championships and Pokemon probably Pokemon means I'm not gonna have enough space to do that. Pokemon Go's seventh year. Oh, seven! Wow, seven years of Pokemon Go. That's wild. I never got into Unite myself. Like I downloaded it on our Switch. And Treble tried it out for a little while, but I never thought to. Just because I've never been really one for, like, RTS battle strategy type games, like League of Legends or anything like that. So, since this is pretty much, like, League of Legends, but styled with Pokemon, I never really thought it would be my thing. But I'm glad that it's still doing well. From Kanto to Paldea. Pokemon Gonna have to update our games again. Pokemon World Championships and Pokemon probably means I'm not gonna have enough space to do that. Pokemon Go's seventh year. Oh, seven Wow, seven years of Pokemon Go. That's wild. I never got into Unite myself. Like, I downloaded it on our Switch, and Treble tried it out for a little while, but I never thought to. Just because I've never been really one for, like, RTS battle strategy type games, like League of Legends or anything like that. So, since this is pretty much, like, League of Legends, but styled with Pokemon, I never really thought it would be my thing. But I'm glad that it's still doing well. Ooh, neat. Oh, that's cool. The two X and Y versions have different ways of battling. That's going to be really nice for a strategy. Okay. I'm watching this little after the direct and the presents ended because I was still at work, so obviously. Those weren't available to me. Join us in celebrating Pokemon Nor would I have gotten into them because, again, not that big in a Pokemon Unite. At last, our first sync pair from the Paldea region. It's Nimona and Palmon. Nimona will make her debut in a new story event coming soon. We hope you'll enjoy Ooh. her interact with trainers from other regions. Nimona Wait, what is this? special sync pair with the new sprint role. Sync pairs with the sprint role excel at attacking quickly. By introducing new roles like this, is this in Scarlet and Violet, or is this in something completely different? I feel like it's in. Okay, I think this might still be in Pokemon Unite. Huh. Okay, yes, it is in Pokemon Unite. Oh, that's cool. They're meshing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in with Pokemon Unite. Oh, I like that. Very cool. And to celebrate this Pokemon present, you can claim a gift of 3,000 gems after this free Dang. There are plenty more events. Pokemon's really given love to Unite in this presents. That's a lot of nifty things. And we have even more good news. Yep, Pokemon Stadium 2. I knew it was coming. I don't have the N64 expansion, but I had a very strong feeling that Pokemon Stadium 2 was going to be coming. Now if we just get Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue, that would be stellar. Like, top shelf. Oh, I love Pichu's Power Plant. That was so fun. And then the Furret. 
Oh, those are some. There were some fun mini games. Yeah, and they're available shortly. Very nice. I love it. Pokemon Sleep. A game that makes waking yes. up something to look forward to was I've been enjoying Pokemon Sleep. I think I have like a when you track your sleep, 14 sessions in it right now, so I've been going roughly for about two weeks. A good sleep day in game event for the night of the full moon in case some people struggle oh. to get enough sleep that night. A good sleep day, even on such nights, we're powering up. Ooh, drowsy power will be stronger. Very cool. I feel like you get a decent amount of drives power each night, but having it be doubled or maybe even tripled would be fantastic. Try to get your very best rest together with Pokemon Sleep. Okay. I like it. Turn to the latest updates about the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. Ooh, yes. Games in the core Pokemon series released in November last year. Yes, please give us like seven star news or DLC news. What do you got? What do you got? Give us a release date for the DLC, please. I haven't pre-ordered the DLC yet, or even decided if I'm gonna get it, but... I'm, I'm on the fence. But is this related to it, or something different? Treasure of my very own? What's that? Ah, oh, cute little satoddles. Why Coco? Something I won't let go of. Something that doesn't change. Something I never expected. Now, take a deep breath and step into the world. Paldean. Ooh, original animated series. You will release an online original animated series set in the Paldea region. The name of the series is Pokemon Paldean Wins. I love that. The story will depict the youthful drama of several academy students as they come into their own, growing okay. and as they attend school. We hope you'll be excited to see Paldea brought to life in this animated series. Oh, that's going to be so fun. Oh, I love that. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet video to share with you all. Yes, yes, please, please give us a video. Well, hello, Mewtwo. It's ominous to see you. And there's Mew. Okay, so this is hinting at the, uh, this is getting to the hints of the Neon M's that we saw in the teaser. And, yeah, clearly they're gonna go into a battle. Mom, you get him, little buddy. Yeah, swift attack's not gonna do much to Mewtwo. Oh, jeez, okay. That was crafty. Oh, dang, okay. Get Mew and Mewtwo. Okay, so this would be, yeah, seven star raids. An event called Get Mew and Mewtwo. Add Mew to your team and challenge a Mewtwo with the mightiest mark. Ah. And the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo. These two longtime rivals are bringing their fierce battles to Paldea. Mm hmm. When? Right now, you can add Mew to your team by entering this password in the. Ooh, okay. Your Get your Mew. Enter that password. Because, well, you guys have already done this, but. Wow, until, okay, until September 18th, so we have a month to do this. Enter that code into your Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet games, get that Mew, and then there we go. Those are the dates we have to get Mew to. There's a Wave 1 and there's a Wave 2, perfect. Oh wait, additional Terror Raid, okay, no, these are other Battle Raid events. So wave one, wave two, and then Mewtwo arrives on September 1st. Oh, that's going to be so good. Finally, we'd like to share some updates about the DLC coming for... Yes, 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 yes. Area zero, let's go. 
What do we got? What do we got? That creepy, tiki looking dude. Game Freak. Yes, his mountain. The Teal Mask. Ooh. Okay. Well, this all looks very well designed. Even though I haven't really shown us any details. And then we go to this one. Which is called... I love that it's like a floating school. The Indigo Disc. So there's like different biomes in the sphere itself. Oh, you're actually going to be able to fly on uh, Coridon and Maridon instead of just gliding? That would be really nice. Whoa, 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 what was that Raikou? Excuse me? I have no idea what's happening to some of the Pokemon we already know and love. This is a new evolution of Appen. Oh? <laughs> Diplin? You'll set out on a tour of Kikikami's Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Down in this land. Old folktale passed down in the land of Kitakami. Or Kitakami. Who once saved Kitakami from an evil ogre. Okie dogie, Mother and Pheasantipity. Oh, those names. Those names. Oh, lovely. It seems she's here in search of a certain Pokemon. Take pictures of Pokemon alongside Perrin and help her with her mission. So we're gonna get like Pokemon Snap in the DLC in a way. You can pop ogre balloons and try for a high score. Okay, they got a little mini game. That's neat. Which can help your Pokemon grow strong. You can use mochi to increase base points for your Pokemon stats. Mochi! Like the like the like the dog thing in Pikmin 4. Oh, that's adorable. Just the way you like. I'm here for it. And that's not all. You'll be getting the new Roto Stick too. Take photos with wider angles using the Roto The Roto Stick? Oh my gosh, like a selfie stick. Oh boy. Enjoy your school trip amid the beautiful land of Kitakami. Terrarium located within the school, you'll find the subtropical savanna biome, the lush coastal biome, the rough and rugged canyon biome, and the freezing polar biome. A total of four artificial Neat. areas. Each of these areas is home to many different... Yeah, and then we'll see Pokemon from past generations. The Academy students often engage... There's the Pokemon League. ...forms a group called the BB League. The BB League. <laughs> it's like the Baby League. It's the small, the small Pokemon League. Student Lacey, the fiery, battle-loving cook Crispin, <sighs> the taciturn and cool-headed Amaris, and Drayton, whose laid-back attitude belies his impressive battle skills. His partner, Archaladon, is a new Pokemon that evolved from Duraludon. Interesting. All waiting to be challenged. To battle them, you'll first need to take on their elite trials. Apparently, one of these trials even lets your Coridon or Maridon fly around temporarily. Okay, cool. So we will be able to fly around, as opposed to just glide. But it's not like a permanent thing. Treasure will lead you back to Paldea. What could the hidden treasure of Area Zero possibly be? I mean, you could just jump into the crater and find out. I did it once. I can always do it again. Scarlet and Pokemon Violet's DLC, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. We hope you look forward to adventuring beyond Paldea's borders. I like it. That Raikou though is still really weird. Part one, the teal map. Okay, this is it. Release dates. For more news on part two, At least for the first part.
September 13th. So, that's what Pokemon has up their sleeves for the next couple of months. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it seems like it was very heavy on Pokemon World and Pokemon Unite, which makes sense since those are events that really do, A, bring the Pokemon community together in a physical way, and B, Pokemon Unite is one of their latest popular games, so I can totally see how they would be highlighting those aspects. But we even got more news on, like, stuff to come in Scarlet and Violet. I am so looking forward to getting my own Mew, which actually I already have a Mew, so I'll have a second Mew. I'll have a Mew 2, if you will. And then in September, when the Mewtwo event actually hits, then we're going to be able to nab that sucker. Provided we battle and defeat him in a 7-star raid, which I have no doubt is going to be super difficult. So you bet your bottom dollar that we are definitely going to need to make sure we are bringing our A-game for those fights. Detect Pikachu Returns, that's coming out. Again, uh, since I didn't play the first game, I'm probably not going to play this one, but I'm glad to see that the game is still thriving and it didn't, like, die out after the movie, which, honestly, I kind of thought that it would. Like, it was just going to be a one-off game, and then they have the movie, and then they would just solely focus on making, like, Detective Pikachu 2 or something, or, like, a Detective Pikachu Returns movie that they would somehow rationalize why Pikachu can talk again, but that's the side the point. I'm looking forward to all this. It all looks super, super fun. But what about you guys? What are you most excited for out of this lineup that you've got? And also, don't forget, there are also the Pokemon Wave 3 Squishmallows that are available from the Pokemon Company itself in both the United States and in Canada. There's a Winking Pikachu. There's a Piplup. I've got my Piplup pre-ordered, and he'll be coming in... September, I think. So while I'm getting myself ready to go and to these Mewtwo raids, I will also anxiously be awaiting my squishy blue baby boy. And I hope you guys will be too, because the Squishmallows that Pokemon has been releasing are fantastic. I've already gotten a Pikachu, a Togepi, and a Gengar. They're just awesome. So bravo to Pokemon Company. You really hit it out of the park yet again. This event was definitely worth checking out and also gonna awesome to be able to have some more content for pokemon coming up in the next few months thank you guys so much for joining me on this deep dive into the pokemon presents event i know i haven't been around for the past couple of years but that's mainly because i've spent a lot of my time and resources when i have them available on streaming if you guys do want to come hang out with us over on twitch i stream on tuesdays and thursdays mainly at 7 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, or Daylight Time, I guess, since we are in that Daylight Time window. And I play a lot of open-world games. Currently, I'm knee-deep into Tears of the Kingdom, and I probably will be for a little while. When Scarlet and Violet have some things going on, I may also stream those, since it is technically an open-world game. Plus, I also do Assassin's Creed, Hogwarts Legacy, basically those medieval, pop culture, really colorful, fun, open world games that exist in the world of video games, I will most likely be playing them on the channel. So that's what's going to be happening over there. But until next time, guys, I am so, so grateful to each and every one of you, each and every one of you that is tuned in, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.